Hello and welcome to English for You. I'm Seb. I'm Kathy. And today we've got a very exciting article.、Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mystery, isn't it? It is a mystery solved. It is all about a heist.、Mm -hmm. So, what is a heist, Kathy? A heist is a big plan to steal something very、mm -hmm. important or to steal from a very important person or organization. Right.、Mm. One of my favorite shows on Netflix right now、uh -huh. is called Money Heist.、Oh. And it's about a big gr a group of people in Spain who、mm -hmm. steal, I think, two billion euros from、wow. the Spanish bank,、Ooh. the Bank of Spain. So it's very exciting because they have a big plan to steal all this、mm -hmm. money. And、mm -hmm. um, there's other heists, other great heists、mm -hmm. as well, aren't there? Yes,、mm -hmm. uh, Isabella Stewart Garden Museum heist. I've、it、heard about that Boston one. It was in Boston in 1990, and it was about like、uh, two thieves dressed、mm -hmm. as Boston police officers.、Oh, They、okay. entered the museum and stole 13 works of art. Wow. Okay, that's got to be worth a lot of money, hasn't、mm -hmm. it? In fact, I think I heard that it was 500 million U.S. dollars wow, worth of art that they stole. <gasps> Okay, so th those are two examples of really、mm -hmm. great heists: one fictional, one not、mm -hmm. true, and one true. But today we're going to talk about another heist, which has actually been solved now,、mm. and that is the mystery of Oscar Wilde's ring. Right. Let's get started with today's article. Reading. Oscar Wilde's stolen ring found by art detective. One night in 2002, a college staff member got drunk and broke into Oxford University's collection of historical items. He then stole an antique gold ring that was connected to the well-known author Oscar Wilde. Wilde had given the ring to his close friend William Ward. In 1876, while they were students at Oxford, it's engraved with the Greek words for "gift of love" to one who wishes love. Last November, Arthur Brand, an art detective with shady connections, came forward with the ring. He'd heard talk about such an object among suspicious people in the art world. They said it had been kept in a safe deposit box. The ring was then stolen again when the safe deposit company was robbed. It was later sold to an innocent person, who immediately agreed to return the ring upon learning of its historical value. Brand said the new owner nearly had a heart attack. When they realized it was Oscar Wilde's ring, the ring is worth about forty-five thousand U.S. dollars. Needless to say, the staff at Oxford is happy to have it back. Okay, our article starts by setting the scene. One night、mm. in two thousand and two, a college staff member got drunk. And broke into Oxford University's collection of historical items. Wow! Wow! So he got drunk. I heard Zayla. Yes. Yeah, and he broke into、mm, the collection. That doesn't sound good to me. Here, the word used is "break into," which means to enter, to force to enter a place. He broke into Oxford University's collection of historical items, a place where all the items are valuable and costly.、Mm -hmm. He then stole an antique gold ring. That was connected to the well-known author Oscar Wilde. Mm, okay, mm. if it was connected to Oscar Wilde,、mm -hmm. I can see why it was an antique.、Mm -hmm. When we describe something as an antique, we mean that it is old and very valuable. That value can either be money, or、mm -hmm. it can be mean that the antique is very meaningful or very beautiful.、Mm -hmm. Antique can also be used as a noun to mean an object that is old and valuable. So, a college staff member broke、mm -hmm. into the Oxford University collection.、Mm -hmm. How do we translate our sentence? Okay. 然后他偷了一个与著名作家奥斯卡王尔德有关的古董金戒指。Antique 就是古董的。
，well known 就是著名的，是复合形容词。这里我们来看这个复合形容词的部分。分词可以和名词、副词或是形容词结合，用连字号连接，形成复合形容词。那么连字号呢后接的动词原本的意思，如果是主动的话，就需要变成现在分词；但如果原本的意思是被动，则变成过去分词。举个例子 ，The mayor of the city won the election this year with results that broke the record. 可以改写成 The mayor of the city won the election this year with record-breaking results. 这座城市的市长今年选举以破纪录的票数获胜。文章呢，这里的 well-known 使用了过去分词，形成复合形容词。因此，这位作家是被人所知，有被动的含义。Okay, so here's a little bit of the backstory to this antique, the history behind this antique. Wilde had given the ring to his close friend William Ward in 1876 while they were students at Oxford.、Mm, so here in the article, it gives us the information of this ring.、Mm -hmm. It was actually a gift from Wilde to William Ward, his friend.、Mm -hmm. We can know more detail about this ring as the article then tells us it's engraved with the Greek words for gift of love. To one who wishes love, so this、mm -hmm. ring could also be a symbol of their love of friendship. I see. Yes, it sounds very poetic,、uh, <laughs> very artistic.、Mm -hmm. Also, because the ring was engraved.、Mm -hmm. Now, engrave is a verb, and when we engrave something, we cut words or images into a piece of metal.、Mm -hmm. You might also hear people say that they had something engraved. Now, when we have something done, so、mm -hmm. past participle verb there, we mean that we get someone to do it. So, for example,、uh, this sentence: John had the engagement ring he gave to his girlfriend engraved with the words "I love you."、Mm. So, someone carved those in there. Yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> it is sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. <laughs> okay, engraved is 动词雕刻的意思。通常后面会加上 with. For example. The stone was engraved with his date of birth.、Mm -hmm. Next, moving on, the article says: Last November, Arthur Brand, an art detective with shady connections,、mm. came forward with the ring. Now, by connections, originally we mean a relationship in which a person, a thing, or idea is linked or associated with something else.、Mm -hmm. However, in the、uh, in the sentence, we mean people, the people that Arthur Brand knew. Why do we call them shady with this negative meaning here?、Mm, we're about to find out. Okay, shady connections. Shady is an adjective, and when something is shady, we don't trust it, or it is connected to something bad. Shady comes from the noun shade, which is an area of the ground that is protected from the sun. As shade is dark, we associate shady people with bad things or mysterious things. You know, you always see bad people lurking in the shadows, lurking in the shade. That's because they are shady. So here's an example sentence of that: Harrison is a great cop, but he has a shady past. He doesn't ever talk about it. So here we're saying that Harrison has a very secret and maybe mysterious past. Maybe he's done some things that he's not proud of. Anyway, as a slang term, we can also use shady in another way. When we say someone is being shady, that means they are being critical of someone or rude about them. You might hear people saying, "Don't be so shady." Or I'm just being shady, so that means don't be rude. Or I'm just being, I'm just criticizing you. So that is another way that we can use shady. Hmm, that's kind of a mysterious word.、Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a phrase that we can see here called "come forward with." 主动提供什么什么资讯 You can picture this phrase by thinking of the action of it. Come forward with.、Mm -hmm. You can also add other words in the middle of come and with. For example, come up with. 提供或是想出的意思，例如 ，He came up with good ideas for product promotion.、Mm -hmm. Or we could say maybe in a court case that someone、oh. came forward with evidence,、mm. or they came forward with some new facts about the criminal. Okay, next in the article, the art detective. He had heard talk about a object among suspicious people 
in the art world.、Mm. Okay, let's first talk about how he heard talk. When we hear talk, we hear、um, people talking about、mm. something. So we hear information about something.、Uh -huh. Maybe not from one person, probably from a group of people. So I hear talk that the company is going to hire someone new next week.、Mm. I hear a rumor, or、mm. I hear information that they're going to do that. Okay, so he heard talk about an object. Now, an object is a noun, and an object is basically anything that is not alive.、Mm. Often, something that has been made by people, or something relatively small,、mm -hmm. maybe the size of a person or smaller.、Mm -hmm. Your phone,、uh, the chair you're sitting on, and the camera we're using to film this are all objects. So it's a very useful word. word.、Mm -hmm. People can't be objects, though, nor can animals. That's because to be an object, you have to not be alive,、mm -hmm. and you have to have never been alive. <laughs> so even something dead is not an object.、Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's look at an example sentence. This is the most valuable object I own. It's a watch that belonged to my grandfather.、Mm -hmm. Okay, there are a couple of other ways we can use a. Object as well. If we add I V E to the end, then、mm -hmm. we get objective, and that is something we aim to do. So Max set himself the objective of reading three books a month.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think there's another way we can use objective、mm -hmm. too, isn't there? Object.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, we could use object like、uh, like a target, right? So an object of criticism, bullying, desire. That、mm. is a target. Something that people are aiming. Uh, their criticism,、mm -hmm. or their bullying, or something that they want—it's the object. So Kelly became the object of much criticism after she said horrible things about another student.、Mm, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this detective Arthur heard talk about this ring among suspicious people. For suspicious, we mean 可疑的 For example, there were suspicious circumstances about his death. Or you can use this word by putting of right behind it.、Mm -hmm. Here's an example: I'm suspicious of the government's intentions. So back to the article. The talk that Arthur had heard about was they said it had been kept in a safe deposit box, 保险箱 I see.、Mm. The ring was then stolen again when the safe deposit company was robbed.、Oh. Wow! So, <laughs> oh my, this ring is certainly plagued with misfortunes. Yes, it's、Tuo、been zai... all over the place. Yes, 多灾多难哦 Safe deposit company 就是保管公司 So let's see what will happen to this ring next. It says it was later sold to an innocent person who immediately agreed to return the ring. Upon learning of its historical value. Okay, so it's good that it got to an innocent person,、mm -hmm. but why is this good? Let's check out our next vocab word. Okay, so innocent is an adjective, and someone who is innocent has not done anything wrong. You'll hear this one a lot in courtroom dramas. At the end of a big case, the judge will say that someone is either innocent wu zui or guilty yu zui. So someone who is innocent hasn't done anything wrong. They haven't committed a crime. Tama mei o chu fan. Here's an example sentence of innocent now using this definition. An innocent man was sent to jail for the murder of that girl, but later police found the real criminal. So innocent actually has another meaning too. We can also use innocent to mean someone who who is childlike and doesn't know much about the world. It's kind of like Tian Jin. So, for example, I wouldn't, I won't let you ruin Isabel's innocent mind by showing her all those violent horror movies. That sounds a little bit like what a parent might say to maybe an older child or one of Isabel's friends. Here we have the word innocent, 无辜的，清白的 We can say someone is innocent of a crime. 某人是无罪的 like Seb just mentioned.、Mm -hmm. An example sentence for this word can be: He was pronounced innocent of the charge. There are also other words that have the same meaning as innocent, like guiltless, faultless, sinless. All with less l e s s at the end.、Mm -hmm. We can also use this word as 天真 like Seb just mentioned.、Mm -hmm. Another word for 天真 is naive.、Mm -hmm. An example sentence will be: Peter was laughed at for his naive remarks. 那注意呢 ，naive 这个字带有负面的意思。嗯哼 ，and it's a little bit more negative, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. If you、mm. call someone naive, they might not like、mm. it. 
Okay, we also saw the word immediately as well. Now, immediately, you can tell it has an ly. That、mm -hmm. means it's an adverb. And when we do something immediately, we do it right away. Yes, right away <laughs> at once. Imagine a scary boss rushing all the workers in the company.、Whoa. He's a busy man, and he wants all the work to be done as quickly as、mm. possible. So he says, "Do it immediately. I don't want any delays." The、mm. same boss might try and get you to get your work done urgently as well. That's another adverb again with the、mm. ly, which means to do something very quickly because it is very important. Okay, let's look at an example sentence of immediately now. Tilda heard the joke and immediately started to laugh. So she laughed at once.、Mm -hmm. Now, one last adverb for you guys to use. This is the opposite of immediately. It is eventually. So something that happens eventually happens after a long time or a bit late.、Mm -hmm. So I didn't believe Johnny at first, but he convinced me eventually.、Mm. Immediately, immediately, uh, immediately. This word, it means 立即的立刻马上 like straight away at once.、Mm -hmm. If you hear an alarm, leave the building immediately. If you see someone on the street and recognize him at once, you can say he was immediately recognizable.、Mm -hmm. mm. And lastly, we have one more vocab word for you guys in this sentence: value.、Mm. And that's very important to this article. This is a noun, and the value of something is how important it is, or how much it can be bought or sold for. So, for example, the value of this house is so great that we can't possibly afford it. So let's look at some types of value now, because、mm -hmm. there's lots of types of、yes. value, aren't there? So we have sentimental value, and、mm -hmm. sentimental is an adjective to do with feelings.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, this bracelet isn't worth、mm -hmm. much, but it has lots, lots of sentimental value.、Mm -hmm. My sister gave it to me on the day I left home.、Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it means a lot to me. It has、mm -hmm. sentimental value. Now, historical value is val when something means a lot to history、mm -hmm. or the past. So, kind of like Oscar Wilde's ring, these pieces of pottery are the oldest in the world. They have enormous historical value. And lastly, we could talk about artistic value. So, obviously, you heard historical, sentimental, artistic value has something to do with art. So many people hated Picasso's paintings when they were first、mm -hmm. completed, but these works have a huge amount of artistic value, as they inspired many other artists to try new styles.、Mm -hmm. So, lots of different kinds of value, yes. right?、Mm -hmm. Yes. Value means 价值。如果你要形容呢一条手链很有价值，你可以说 a bracelet of great value. So this innocent person returned this valuable ring once he knew how precious it was.、Mm -hmm. And the article then goes on and says, Brand said the new owner nearly had a heart attack when they realized it was Oscar Wilde's ring.、Mm -hmm. He must be shocked the moment he knew about it. I would be definitely. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the article continues. The ring is worth.、Mm. Actually, before I say this line, I was reading about this story、uh -huh. before we filmed this. And you know how much the original thief stole the ring,、uh, sold the ring for.、What? He sold it for a hundred and fifty pounds. Okay, one hundred and ninety-six U.S. dollars. So listen to how much the ring is really worth. The ring is worth about forty-five thousand U.S. dollars.、Oh. Needless to say, the staff、wow. at Oxford is happy to have it back. So that's incredible. It's worth that much.、Yes. Now, worth is a verb, and when we talk about how much something is worth, we are talking about、uh, how much it can be bought or sold for.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, this coffee mug is worth two hundred dollars. Okay, or we could talk about something. We can make it an adjective and talk about it being worthless. And that doesn't mean that it's free. It means that it has very little value, or it doesn't have any use. We can、mm -hmm. also use worthless to talk about a person,、uh -huh. but that's a little bit mean、yeah. as well. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's worthless. That's、mm. kind of <laughs> a little bit harsh. <laughs> Okay, a different one though is priceless, and that kind of means the opposite. Something that is priceless、mm. 
can't uh, be bought sold because it is so valuable. It's worth so much that you can't put a price tag on it. Mm -hmm. And in the UK, we also use prices to mean that something is very, very funny. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Worth 就是值多少钱 For example, this necklace is worth one hundred US dollars. You can add a it, and it becomes it a、uh, worth it. Worth it. Meaning, 很值得 The new car cost a lot of money, but it's certainly worth it.、Mm -hmm. Our last phrase here is needless to say. This is an easy one, which you can also remember from the word itself. Needless 就是不需要的，后面加上 to say 就是呢不用说，当然的意思。Of course, the staff at Oxford is happy to have it back.、Mm -hmm. I definitely would be. You know, that's a very valuable、yes. historical item. Okay, well, that's all we have for this story. It's good to hear that the ring is back where it belongs. It's been on a journey、yes. for the last eighteen years,、mm -hmm. um, but we still have a for you chat question, so don't go anywhere. Okay, well, this is a really good question. We don't all have a ring from Oscar Wilde, <laughs> no. But we do have all have things that are very valuable that have a lot of value. Yes. So our for you chat question for today is this: What is the most important thing someone、mm. has ever given you? Describe it and talk about what makes it special.、Mm. Okay, Kathy, do you have anything really special at home? I do actually.、Mm -hmm. I have a stuffed animal, a puppy.、Mm -hmm. It was from、uh, a girl I met in a summer camp. She、okay. was one of the teacher's daughters. She's an American, and、mm -hmm. we got along very well for the whole week. So at the end, she gave me this puppy dog,、mm -hmm. and、mm -hmm. I kept it for. Seventeen years. Seventeen years. Yes, but、wow. now I I think she moved back to America.、Mm -hmm. I couldn't reach her by email or phone, so、mm -hmm. I think it's a symbol of our friendship at、wow. that time. Wow. Okay. It's a long time. Was it your first、uh, summer camp that you went on? Yes. Wow. So it's got lots of meaning. Yes.、Then. And probably you learned a lot of English when you were there、yes. as well. So it's、mm -hmm. kind of it's your story, learning a language,、mm -hmm. and your friendship. Wow. Do、mm -hmm. you still keep in touch with? The owner. I, I tried to find、mm -hmm. her,、mm -hmm. reach her through email, but、um, I couldn't. I think、oh, she just、okay. moved back to the U.S.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all have our own path in life, don't we? We、mm -hmm. all go in our own directions. Yes. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's article and today's for you chat. So, what are the most important things that you have at home? Describe them to your classmates. Talk about what makes them special, and we will join you again soon for more exciting articles. For English for you, I'm Seb. I'm Kathy, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye. Oscar Wilde's stolen ring found by art detective. One night in 2002. A college staff member got drunk and broke into Oxford University's collection of historical items. He then stole an antique gold ring that was connected to the well-known author Oscar Wilde. Wilde had given the ring to his close friend William Ward in 1876 while they were students at Oxford. It's engraved with the Greek words for "gift of love" to one who wishes love. Last November, Arthur Brand, an art detective with shady connections, came forward with the ring. He'd heard talk about such an object among suspicious people in the art world. They said it had been kept in a safe deposit box. The ring was then stolen again. When the safe deposit company was robbed, it was later sold to an innocent person, who immediately agreed to return the ring upon learning of its historical value. Brand said the new owner nearly had a heart attack when they realized it was Oscar Wilde's ring. The ring is worth about forty-five thousand U.S. dollars. Needless to say. The staff at Oxford is happy to have it back. Vocabulary review. Shady. Calvin was worried 
that his business partner's shady deals would one day get him into legal trouble. Object. Alan's desk is covered in several useless objects that take up a great deal of space. Innocent. Sandy forgot to pay for the coat. She said it was a mistake and that she was innocent. Immediately. Kelly realized she had left her purse at the restaurant. And she immediately went back to get it. Value. We win every game when Albert plays, and we appreciate his value to the team. Worth. I paid three hundred thousand NT dollars for my car, but now it's worth much less than that because it's old. 智慧小补帖 Antique. Engrave. Suspicious. Safe deposit box. <音樂>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。